What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we have a very very interesting video to talk about and this is the official tweet that has gone out on not only the Japan but also the global side of things just and just a tweet of this image that's all it was given just this image with a thinking emoji and an eyes emoji right? So, this is obviously pertaining to the next upcoming Sugo Fest exclusive character. Now, I think that just by looking at the icons, without even like going too deep into it, we can already assume at this point it's something relating to Odin and the Scabbards. That's what we can pretty much surmise and what the community has pretty much got to at this point. But we'll get through it in this video today. We'll talk about some of your broski's opinions as well, which I've also asked for you guys on Twitter to go ahead and tweet at me about. So we'll go through all of that today. But um, the interesting thing about it is like, why are they even doing this in the first place? Because the thing about it is, is we already know that, you know, we, we are getting close to another new batch should be releasing. And this is a particularly interesting time of year. Now, previously, before the sync celebration with Global in Japan, this is about the time that Global would be receiving their normal anniversary Sugo Fest that usually comes at the end of February. So we were wondering, you know, is Global going to be receiving some type of anniversary celebration, you know, with, whether it be just for Global or a celebration between both versions, just a big event, probably that's going to be the case at this point because I don't see them a reason, like a reason for them to do this unless if it was a big celebration. And then if we even go back to early January last year, they actually gave us this tweet here, which gave us the information about the Global anniversary where we had the three images that would be hinting towards the next batch of characters. And we know at this point it was Luffy, Sanji, German Double Six, and also the Sweet Commanders, which we also have with this celebration saying, you know, this is Global's or English version 6th anniversary Sugo Fest Operation Bring Back Sanji, where it was a big event relating to Whole Cake Island and these brand new characters were releasing for that anniversary celebration. So I feel like the reason why they're doing this is because it's probably going to be another big anniversary celebratory event. Uh, people have also gave out their opinion saying that what if it's like, uh, like a road to anniversary celebration where we start start right here and then everything from now up until May is going to be relating to whatever the anniversary is going to be which I think also would be a very smart idea what if they did you know some Odin related character now and it leads up all the way until May which is when the official anniversary is and then we have like a Luffy versus Kaido for the anniversary in May I think that would be epic as hell though as I said you know it's a bit predictable if that is the case so I hope they don't do that because it is it just seems a little bit too predictable but it does seem exciting nonetheless. So if we actually just have a look at what these icons are, now we have this one here, which this one could have a double meaning because not only could it mean Kanjuro, but it could also mean Odin when he's writing in his journal. I think it could definitely mean both of those things. But then we have the, the little segregation between each of these icons. So all of these three icons, I feel like these three icons are relating to one character. Uh, and then like the, the bottom six are relating to another character. So we've got like, you know, the, the writing in a journal, the moon, and also two swords. I feel the, all of these three relate to Odin. It just makes perfect sense. Writing in the journal, the Kozuki crest, the moon crescent, obviously, and then two sword style makes perfect sense. However, for the icons below, this one, you know, is a little bit different because there's some very, very weird choices. First of all, the, the, the giant pig, which is, you know, the, the giant pig that Odin cut down early in his flashback. Um, but it could also mean you know, maybe like Kinemon because Kinemon was the, the one who stole like the pig's child, which caused the whole seen in the first place. I'm not really too sure why they decided to do that. Maybe Inosuke from Demon Slayer is coming to One Piece Treasure Cruise. <laughs> Absolutely not. Either way, we have the blue kimono here. I feel like this one relates to Denjiro because obviously he has like that blue color scheme with the character. That makes a lot of sense to me. The fire, see this is kind of weird because the fire makes sense for it to be Kinemon, but this also could be Kinemon as well. This could also be Kinemon and Denjiro because they were both present during that scene. So I don't know. This one's a bit of a weird one. Also the money, I don't know exactly what that could possibly mean i mean i know that you know the scabbards were, were receiving a lot of money from oh my god what's his name the guy with the blue hair i can't remember off the top of my head because that he wanted them to to train themselves and get educated for odin to be his retainers um the leaf could also be relating to kinemon for his devil fruit but also i feel like did did, did riser use a leaf for one of his
these ninjutsu attacks? I'm not really too sure. And then the clock relating to time. I mean, is Toki going to be in this batch as well? Like, maybe they're going to have a new Rave Recruit Toki or something? I don't know. This, As I said, this could really go in so many different directions. But it is interesting that the character at the top is segregated by himself. And then we have this one here, which segregates two different characters. I feel like maybe it is just an Odin character. And then the, the bunch of Rave Recruits could be like a Denjiro Kinemon, a Toki. And then may maybe the pig. What if the pig itself is a Rare Recruit character? That would be crazy. Not really too sure though. It, it, again, it could literally be anything. But anyways, let's go ahead and have a look at what you guys said relating to this brand new image. Uh, Lord Shira says, beat Arena Queen with a team of random... What? What does this even mean, bro? What does this even mean? Uh, Inosuke Demon Slayer, my man Kobe coming through. Yeah, nah, he knows exactly what's going on. Uh, Kurt says that they're all things that can relate to Odin, but the fact that there are two different rectangles and like three columns of pictures, it could be three different characters. Ooh, I didn't think of it that way, actually. So they're saying like, what if like this... This relates to one, this relates to one, and this relates to one. I don't know about that. I feel like that doesn't make a lot of sense. Skylar says, I think it will be an Onigashima theme for the Nine Scabbins and possibly a V2 Odin. I mean, yeah, I feel like that... Uh, uh, the thing about it is, it doesn't really show all of the scabbards. I don't think that the icons really relate to all of the scabbards. Because there's nothing really here that, that signifies, you know, cat dog, you know? I mean, obviously we had the Sulong cat dog that just released, but I don't think they'd release another one straight away. I mean, the moon is the only thing here that kind of relates to that at all. Also, nothing here really relates to Kawamatsu at all either. Um, nothing here really relates to Ashura Doji. Um, nothing relates to Okiku, realistically. Nothing relates to Izo. Um, I mean, and the only real thing that relates to Kanjuro is, the, is, the, is that first symbol, but that I think that's probably relating to Odin. So there aren't that many of the scabbards, I think, that really relate to these icons, unless if they're just going to be included in the batch anyway. We're not really too sure, and this is just more of a hint towards what the theming of the batch is going to be. Not particularly who's going to be in it, but more of just the theme. Define Vox just saying V2 Odin and scabbards legend. I mean, quite possible. Samuel says Odin top part unit super type slash class journal moon to sword style. Yep, and the bottom half is probably a double unit Kinemon and Denjiro. Oh, yeah, it could just be that. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it, it, it legit could just be that. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Yeah, because the money can also relate to the Witching Hour Boy, which was Denjiro. Wow, okay. Yeah, it could literally just be that. Or what if it is just a dual unit where one side is Odin and the other one is just. Kinemon and Denjiro, and you switch between the two characters. Personally, I hope it's not another dual unit. I'm just, I just don't think we need another dual unit, not for a while anyway. Uh, I would be more inclined for it to be a super type or a super class unit. If it's a super class unit, that would be awesome. You know, getting another slasher unit, that would be totally cool. Uh, even though we recently just had a super class, you know, slasher style unit, even though, you know, Dogstorm was a super fighter character, even though he was a slasher, I think it would be cool if we did get a super class Odin slash a character. Enzo says, going far here, but maybe Red Akazaya unit doing the two sword style Odin against Kaido. That would be pretty badass. Though, as I said, I don't think they're going to do that considering, you know, Cat Dog just got a legend. Not sure how the ink would relate to the swords, though. Not sure about the rare recruits in this case. Maybe Suru for the first, Toki the last one. Maybe, yeah, yeah. The thing is, is the fact that the clock is there is kind of interesting because maybe it's just saying, you know, it's Kinemon, but 20 years later, and then Denjiro, or it could literally just mean Toki. There's so many different avenues that could, this could go down. And then Ernad just literally lists like one character towards each of these icons, which personally, I don't, per I don't, just don't agree with this. I don't think that each individual icon is one character. I think it's more of just a theming where a bunch of icons mean a bunch of different things. That's what the way I see it, but still could be quite possible because the clock icon could definitely mean Toki, but it could also mean, you know, Kinemon who was transported 20 years into the future. Ian just saying Odin and Scabbards, which is quite possible, of course. Carissa being awesome as per usual. Odin and his retainers, my guess is Toki and Odin unit. I think that would be kind of cute if they did that. Uh, Super Legend, Nine Scabbards, Mountain God Legend. I mean, there's so many different things it could be. And the fact is, is that we actually have never had any other Odin character aside from the one that released for the New Year's Sugo Fest with Roger. Uh, a couple years back. So I think it would be about that time to release another Odin legend. I think we deserve another Odin character at some point. I mean, it doesn't have to be a legend, but definitely we need another Odin character. And I think that's exactly what we're going to be getting in this instance here. So that's going to wrap up this one. Let me know your thoughts and opinions and definitely let me know on what you think this upcoming character or characters are going to be. Do you think it's going to be Legend Odin and then Rare Recruits 
scabbards or do you think it's going to be a scabbards legend do you think it's going to be a dual unit between odin and his scabbards do you think it'll be a super class unit with odin and his scabbards or as i said i i, I personally hope it's just a super class odin v2 and then we have some other rare recruits maybe it's going to be a kinemon denjiro dual unit on top of a super class odin could be definitely possible because i feel like they should release more than one legend for this celebration we'll have to wait and see though anyways hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video today and if you guys did enjoy the video make sure go ahead and leave a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the content that i post including more one piece treasure cruise content make sure to hit the subscribe button down below but on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video